in the presentation environment, your .ipn file, you are able to get some nice appearances on your exploded view. So you can get a, a nice ray trace um, and a render uh, from this. To, to be able to manipulate it, we go to our view tab and under your view tab, we've got a couple of different options. Um, the first option is your shadows. Okay, so three different types of shadows, your ground shadows, object shadows, and ambient shadows. If you just select it, you can see how the shadows actually play a major part in, in just making this look a little bit better. You can see the, the significant um, improvements that you've actually got um, on, your, on, your, on your model. It looks much, much better. Um, under your settings, you can go and change this as well. So uh, we'll see over here, you know, your ground density, you can see how the shadow in the background down there gets lighter or brighter. Also the softness of the shadow. So if I take this density quite up, you know, just make this, the shadow a little bit softer. You can see a hard shadow would give you all those hard edges over there. So you can play around uh, with the shadow and the density over there, as well as your ambient shadow. So ambient shadows are the shadows um, on your part, you can see over there. Um, and I can just bring that down to give it a bit of a, a softer, softer touch to that. Okay, with the lighting, you can also change the lighting. So you've got four different lights um, on this, and you can also change where the lighting is coming from. So you can see how I'm actually changing the direction of the light, um, and it actually changes the appearance of the model as well. So it's quite a hard, harsh light on the top over there. Um, so maybe sort of put it over there, um, as well as changing the, the color of the light. So, um, you know, I can put a, a yellow light on. You can see how it affects uh, the metal um, over there, and then just the brightness as well. So I can take the brightness down um, to uh, of, of the, the the lights over there. Okay, so just putting it back to that. Um, the next setting that we've got um, is our reflections. So you stick reflections on. You can see down at the bottom over here um, my reflections also reflecting the tweak lines. Um, I've also got some settings for my reflection. Um, you know, sort of. Look at the the plain color. You know you can make it yellow, so the plain color is yellow over there. You know make it opaque. You know sort of play around with that setting over there. You can also display the grid or not. Um, and then you've got your reflection. So you can see it's quite a hard reflection or no reflection whatsoever. Okay, so we can just put it down over there. You can also blur the reflection and, and have a blur fall off as well on the reflection. Okay. I'm just going to change my plain color back to something that's a little bit more palatable. Okay. Um, so with this over here, uh, we've also got uh, you know you want to look take a look at the, look at in perspective. Um, the perspective just gives a bit more of a realistic uh, look, a real life look over there. Um, and then if you want to, you can put your ground plane. On. So, you can just do that. so now the next thing we have to do is just uh, make sure that we're on realistic, the visual style. Um, and with that, we can do a little bit of a ray trace. So click on ray trace, and it jumps into your ray tracing. Um, you'll see in the bottom right hand corner here, I've got it in uh, in draft. Um, and you'll see it'll it'll go in and give you quite a nice little um, little uh, presentation or view uh, of your exploded uh, model. Um, just you know, this is a quick little video just to tell you about that. As not many people know that you or have even tried um, putting uh, the view on uh, in their presentation file. Uh, once you try, it'll start rendering. Be very careful. As you know, it'll start rendering again. Yeah, thank you very much for listening. Enjoy the rest of your day.